Open Heavens Daily Devotional, Tuesday, August 15, 2023. Topic. From Darkness to Light, Part 1. Memorize. John 9 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Read. 1 John 1 5 10. 5. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you, that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. 7. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanseth us from all sin. 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 10. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Message. There are certain things in life that are very difficult to define. One of such things is light. If someone asks you, what is light? You may simply say it is the opposite of darkness. However, to understand light, you need to understand what darkness stands for. Our case study for this series will be Bartimaeus, a blind man who met Jesus and the darkness in his life ended. When you look at Mark 10 46 to 52, you will see some of the things that darkness portrays and thus identify certain things hidden in light. For example, darkness equals sickness. If darkness signifies sickness, then light signifies healing which is embedded in Jesus Christ the light of the world, Exodus 15 26. When you have a relationship with Jesus, sickness cannot continue to stay in your life. It is no news that darkness and the devil go hand in hand. When you look at Luke 13 11 to 17, you will see clearly that Jesus Christ called the spirit of infirmity an agent of the devil. Sickness and disease therefore have their origin in darkness. However, the light of God can see forces of darkness and deal with them completely. There was a brother who was going to the USA for further studies and he threw a party before his departure. In the middle of this party, an enemy came and planted something evil into his life. From the day he arrived in the USA, he began to feel a pain in his stomach. All kinds of tests were conducted to no avail, yet the pain intensified. He struggled for six years, taking all manner of drugs until he finished his studies. When he returned to Nigeria, he heard that we were having a program at Ibadan and decided to travel all the way from Zaria. The devil did everything to stop him but he finally made it on the last day of the program. During the last message, he sat down and as the word of God was coming forth, the light of God hit him and suddenly, he began to shout, I am free because the pain of more than six years had disappeared. I prophesy to you. It doesn't matter how long you have been carrying that sickness or disease, my daddy will chase it out today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer Point Father, please chase out every form of darkness in my life now, in Jesus' name. Don't forget to share today's message with your loved ones via WhatsApp and Facebook. Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of Open Heaven Daily Devotional every morning.